Welcome back to my channel Iraqi Dinar Digest, I hope you are all will be fine God give you more happiness and prosperity, today, we have recent updates on Iraq's banking developments, including a significant speech from the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, Ali Alalak, and insights from financial gurus. Intel guru Marks reports that Iraqi Prime Minister Sudani is currently in New York, while Central Bank Governor Ali Alalak has openly discussed the possibility of deleting the zeros from the Iraqi dinar, a significant shift in his stance. Additionally, there has been progress with the hydrocarbon law, HCL, in Iraq. An article recently announced the launch of salary financing for employees, confirming that payments are happening today. This development is connected to the ongoing HCL changes. Furthermore, the Kurdistan region has deposited nearly 100 billion dinars of non-oil revenues into Baghdad's treasury, a move that suggests the HCL agreement is nearing completion. Marx believes that an official announcement could come at any moment. First, let's dive into the conversation around the removal of zeros from the Iraqi dinar. Governor Ali Alalek has been continuously reviewing this plan, but as of now, there are no restrictions on balances held in America. Financial experts, like Guru Nad from the Middle East, are following up on this closely. Nad has also shared that in the coming weeks, there will be a process to exchange large notes for smaller denominations. Specifically, those holding 25,000 dinar notes may soon need to swap them for smaller notes such as 500s. The anticipated denominations will include 10s, 20s, 5s, 100s, 250s, and 500s. This adjustment is part of Iraq's strategy to reduce the use of high-value notes. If you're based in the US, Canada, Australia, England, or elsewhere, you will need to find ways to exchange these larger bills for smaller ones when the process begins. This is important for anyone holding large quantities of Iraqi dinars, as the 25,000 dinar notes will likely be replaced by smaller, more practical denominations. For now, it's best to stay informed and prepared for any changes in exchange procedures. In other news, Guru Jeff has reported that an announcement regarding the agreed-upon actions for U.S. troop withdrawal from Iraq is expected soon, which could have broader implications for the country's stability. Shifting focus to the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, Governor Ali Alalek recently laid out a comprehensive roadmap for financial sustainability, aimed at upgrading Iraq's banking sector. In a speech delivered at the launch of the Financial Sustainability Map Project, Alalek highlighted the importance of environmental, social, and governance ESG, standards in the banking sector. ESG has seen rapid growth since its inception in 2005 and is becoming increasingly crucial for the financial sector, given its impact on economic, social, and environmental stability. Alalek emphasized that while ESG standards are important for any organization, they hold particular significance for the banking sector due to its role in managing risk and ensuring the rights of shareholders and stakeholders. The application of these standards, within a framework of transparency and disclosure, will contribute to the long-term financial stability of Iraq's economy. This roadmap, which spans from 2023 to 2029, is part of the CBI's broader efforts to modernize the banking sector in line with international best practices. It is noteworthy that Iraq is the first country in the region to implement such a guide, with input from international experts and organizations such as the International Finance Corporation, IFC, under the World Bank. Alalek expressed his gratitude for the contributions of these global experts underscoring the strong partnership between Iraq and the international financial community. In July, the Iraqi Central Bank's CBI, sales of U.S. dollars during its currency auction exceeded $5 billion. According to CBI data, a total of 5,297,918,322 dollars was sold in August 
with an average of 278,837,806 dollars per day. Foreign exchange sales accounted for 5,066,068,322 dollars, a significant 95% higher than cash sales, which totaled 231,250,000 dollars. These dollar sales were divided between remittances for external trade financing and cash sales to banks. The selling price for documentary credits and international settlements for electronic cards was set at 1,310 IQD per dollar, while the price for remittance amounts abroad was 1,305 IQD per dollar. This is a major step for Iraq's banking sector, signaling its commitment to sustainability, transparency, and global standards. Stay tuned for more updates on how these developments will impact the dinar and the overall financial landscape.